2 minute anesthesia, pharmacology, key drugs, paracetamol. Paracetamol or N4 hydroxyphenyl acetamide it has analgesic and antipyretic properties. It's presented as a clear colourless liquid, tablets or suppositories, and can be given PO, IV, PR. The mechanism may involve multiple pathways involving inhibition of cyclooxygenase, activation of descending serotonergic pathways, modulation of endogenous cannabinoid systems. The dose varies in paediatrics, however in adults, 1 gram 6 hourly for oral, the IV dose may require dose adjustment for low body weights. The onset of an IV dose is 5 minutes with a peak effect of 40 minutes. The oral dose may have an onset of 30 minutes up to 2 hours. For an IV dose can cause hypertension, bradycardia and pain at the site of injection but even nausea and vomiting. Has an oral bioavailability of 80%, volume distribution of 1 litre per kilogram, low protein binding 20% and a PQ of 9.5. It undergoes extensive hepatic metabolism and elimination in the urine, mainly as conjugates with 5% excreted unchanged, with elimination half-life of 2 hours. Paracetamol metabolism is mainly by two key pathways, glucuronidation and sulfation at 55 and 35% respectively. A minor pathway of 10% is by acetylcholine P452E13A4. This produces NAPQ. NAPQ is a toxic metabolite. Under healthy conditions, this is conjugated with glutathione to produce a non-toxic metabolite. However, in paracetamol overdose, the glutathione levels are depleted, and the conjugation pathways are exhausted. Therefore, there's increasing levels of NAPQ. NAPQ can cause injury to hepatocytes in two ways. Firstly, by binding to proteins in hepatocytes, leading to injury to the cellular membrane and mitochondrial dysfunction. And secondly, the reduced levels of glutathione makes hepatocytes more susceptible to reactive oxygen species-induced injury. Serious paracetamol toxicity may occur in patients ingesting more than 150 mg per kilogram of paracetamol in 24 hours. The clinical features and presentation could be simply as an asymptomatic creation or that of acute liver failure. This depends on the amount taken, whether it's acute or staggered overdose. If it's a mixed overdose, the timing of the presentation and special groups, i.e. less than 30 kg pregnancy, the use of IV paracetamol and underlying liver disease. Basic management in the UK now relies on the SNAP protocol, giving n cysteine over 12 hours, which is associated with less side effects and improved bed occupancy. An acetyl cysteine will be given over 2 hours for 100 mg per kilogram and then 10 hours at 200 mg per kilogram. King's College criteria of paracetamol toxicity suggests the presence of one of the following should prompt referral to a liver transplant centre, i.e. low pH less than 7.3, creatinine greater than 300, PT greater than 100 and a grade 3 or 4 encephalopathy.